Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today is my championship predictions for the mid mid first week. Got around the end. Um obviously championship league one two play a lot of midweek football. This is the first week of that midweek football. Um but guys you know what I try and do, try and predict every result in the championship. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to kick off with is Birmingham versus Barnsley. Barnsley 2-2 two -two with Charlton in the weekend fixtures. Birmingham losing 3-0 to Forest. Considering Barnsley were at home, let's talk about the Charlton uh, result for this one. Um, Barnsley drawing 2-2 two -two with Charlton. Both League One clubs coming up from... League One, you know, what, if you're a Barnsley fan, as I've said, if you're a fan of any sort, please feel free to comment down below, whether it's your predictions, questions about your team, questions about your opposition, you know, questions for me, please feel free to put it all down in the comments below. Um, but, you know, as a Barnsley fan, are you happy with a 2-2 result against Charlton? Do you think you deserve the three points? Um, I know probably Charlton would be happy with that result, knowing that Barnsley did overturn Fulham in the first week. So I suppose as a Charlton fan, you should be quite happy with that. But as far as this game goes, I've gone with a 2-1 Barnsley win. My next one is Derby County versus Bristol City. Derby County 2-2 two -two with Stoke. And Bristol City 2-0 over QPR. Let's go to the Derby game for this one. Um, Derby County 2-2 two -two with Stoke, or at Stoke as well. So, you know, Derby County away from home. Um, as Derby fans, are you happy with that result? Or did you, you know, expect a bit more from your team? Stoke, on the other hand, you know, the way they started this season, I think they will be happy with the 2-2 two -two result. Um, you know, Stoke look like one of them teams that are not going to struggle. I don't think they struggle to stay up, but they will have tough games ahead of them. So, but with this game, I've gone with a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Hull versus Blackburn. Hull drawing one all with Brentford. Blackburn... 1-0 win over Middlesbrough. Um, let's go to the whole City game and talk about that one for a bit. Hull getting one one all down at Brentford. Uh, I don't think that's such a bad result from the whole point of view. I know Brentford have lost a couple of key players in the summer window. But to even still go down to Brentford and get the result, you know, I don't think that's too bad. So with this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Hull City win. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Wigan. Middlesbrough, as I've just said, losing 1-0 to Blackburn. Wigan 2-0 over, uh, losing 2-0 over Leeds. Let's go to the Leeds game for this one. Um, are you happy to take a 2-0 defeat at home to Leeds? Leeds are very powerful force this season. I've seen them once or twice already. Um, they are going to be, you know, a hard team to beat. If you go if you go up against these and get a point at some stage, you should be happy with that. Um, but as Wigan fans, are you happy with that result? I'm going to say 2-0 could have possibly been more what I've seen of these. So, if I was a Wigan fan, I'd probably be happy with that. But I've gone with a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Luton Town. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, 1-0, uh, losing 1-0 against Millwall. Luton Town, losing 2-1 over West Brom. Let's talk to the Luton game for this one. 2-1 uh, losers over West Bromwich Albion, uh, you know, at home, West Brom, I seem to be, uh, you know, going through that 
biffy period, if you know what I mean. It's, you know, they win some weeks, they lose some. Might your guess say what all other teams do, I know, but if you look at West Brom from when they've come down from the Premier League, they seem to be going down and then they come up and they seem to be back in that period again. Uh, but Luton, I don't f I think I'd expect a bit more from you, but fair play to West Brom for getting that result. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-0 Sheffield Wednesday win. My next one is Cardiff versus Huddersfield. Huddersfield losing 2-1 over Fulham. Cardiff losing 3-0 over Reading. Uh, let's talk about the Huddersfield result because there's some news that you all probably already know anyway, but I'm going to say Huddersfield have sat their manager after losing 2-1 to Fulham. I did actually watch that game live. I thought I thought Huddersfield were looked below par. Uh, definitely not a team I think will come back up to the Premier League even at this early stage. They need a major turnaround before anything can happen. Um, but as I said, I really can't see Huddersfield coming back up to the Prem. It's going to be an interesting ride for Huddersfield, I think. I think if I was a Huddersfield fan, I'd more worry about getting stable back in the Championship before you think about promotion. But, you know, as I said, it's going to it's gonna take time. See you bring in. There's been a few manager shouts from the new uh, for the Huddersfield job. One of them's Chris Shooting, plus a few others. You know, it's going to be an interesting ride for Huddersfield this, this season. But for this result, I've gone for a 2-1 Cardiff win. My next one is Charlton versus Notch Forest. Notch Forest beating Birmingham 3-0. Charlton 2-2 over Barnsley. Consider I spoke about Barnsley a bit. Let's talk about the Birmingham result. Uh, for this one. Notch Forest beating Birmingham 3-0. Now, Birmingham, they seem to be getting their way back into the championship. You know, I don't think they're going to worry a lot this season. I know a few, few of you might go, well, you know, they've been getting results against the odds, they've been doing this. But I don't think they're going to have to worry this season as much as they have been over the past few years. But, you know, not for his 3-0 result at home. I think that's a good result all round for the not for his fans. But for this one, I've gone for a 2-0 Charlton Athletic win. The next one is Fulham versus Millwall. Fulham 2-1 over Huddersfield. Millwall 1-0 winners over Sheffield Wednesday. I'm going to go back to the Huddersfield result because I want to speak about this uh, result on the Huddersfield point of view as well. Um, I thought Huddersfield were brilliant. I had that dodgy 20 to 10 minutes where you know Huddersfield did start to look back, in, back into the game but then when Huddersfield scored, Fulham went straight back on the front foot. I did like that what I saw from the Fulham end. Um, could I see Fulham come back up at this early stage? Yes, but I do have to keep on doing what they're doing. Um, but as far as this one goes, I've gone for a free, free scoreline for that one. The next one is Leagues versus Brentford. Leagues, 2-0 winners over Wigan. And Brentford, 1-0 with Hull City. Um... Let's go to the Brentford game for this one. Um, Brentford, you know, won all at home against Hull City. No disrespect to Hull whatsoever. Probably expecting a little bit more from Brentford. But, you know, won all scoreline. Nothing to be seen is that. 2-0 two, two winners at Wigan for Leeds this previous weekend just gone. You know, that's not a huge surprise. Um, but well done Leagues anyway. Um, but I've gone for a 2-1 Leagues win for that one. My next one is Preston North End versus Stoke. Preston North End losing 3-2 over Swansea. And Stoke City 2-2 over Derby County. Um, 
so 2-2 two, two against Derby, nothing to be sneezed at. I'll probably be happy with that if I was a Stoke fan. Uh, you know, let's not beat around the bush. As I've said, they are struggling. They are going to look to have a bit of an iffy season. But I still don't see them going down. But for this one, I've gone for a 3-2 Preston win. My next one is QPR versus Swansea. QPR... Um, Right, Swansea beating Preston 3-2. QPR 2-0 losers over Bristol City. Um, let's talk about that 2-0 Bristol City defeat from a QPR point of view. This is why I bring the same results up. Is so, when I speak about the home team this week, like this midweek, I speak about it from their end. And then when I go to the away team who I beat or drawn or lost, I'll speak for it from their point of view. 2-0 um, against Bristol City. How would I summon that? I think I'll put Bristol City in my uh, promotion places for my championship prediction table. So, you know, going Bristol City, I don't think that's a too harsh result from where QPR are standing. As always, do feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but I don't think that's too harsh a result, as I've just said. So for this one, I've gone for a 2-1 Swansea win. My last one for this midweek fixtures is West Bromwich Albion versus Reading. I'm going to speak about the Reading result in a minute. Um, West Brom, 2-1 winners at Luton. Nothing, you know, uh, I think you've got to be chuffed with that result, West Brom, to be honest. But... That's just me. Um, Reddit beating Cardiff 3-0. Uh, bit of a shock result, I think. <laughs> um, you know, let's not, let's not beat around the bush with stuff like this. It's, you've got to basically take the smooth with the rough. And I think Cardiff got the rough of that fixture, that result. 3-0 um, at home to Reading. Cardiff did come down from the Premier League where you're expecting to beat teams like Reading, but it looks like Reading struggles are finally over. But for this result, I've gone for a 2-0 West Brom win. Um, but anyway, guys, you, I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.